How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to compare two energy monitors. This Kilowatt P4460 and this Cyrillic. Both monitors energy but the Cyrillic comes in at less than half the cost of this Kilowatt. Before reviewing this cheaper one, I was half expecting it to not perform as well. Maybe the measurements are like 5-10% off or so. But comparing it side to side, there are some features in this one that makes it preferable even though it's cheaper. So cheaper, better? Why not, right? Both of them has a battery in it, so it will retain your energy information. However, the kilowatt, you can't actually turn it on if it's not plugged into the wall. The Cyrillic, you can push a button and you can access the data that's in it. It's not plugged in right now, so some of the reading might not make sense. It shows volt, the time it's been plugged in, the hertz, amps, low watts, high watts. This is the cost that you set yourself, the current wattage and the cost, and the amount of kilowatt hour you used the number of days it's been on. The kilowatt shows volt, amp, watt, volt amp, which is something that's not in the other one, hertz, power factor. And I think the menu system's a little confusing because at the volt prompt, you can press menu to get to cost. This is the total cost that you use, not in the other one, based on projection, you can see the cost per year, month, week, day, hour. You can set the rate as well. You can see how much kilowatt hour you use, the elapsed time that this thing has been plugged in, and back to volt. This one shows 122 volt while the kilowatt shows 121.5. Minor difference. I got a heater over here. Let it run until it stabilizes. So 6.77 let's just say. I'll plug it in this one. 6.74. Four. We got 770 watts. This one shows 780 watts. 768 takes a little while to register. It reads a little bit high, it seems, at least compared to the reading of this one. Volt amp, which I have never personally used, 60 hertz, 60 hertz right here. Power factor of 0.99 or 1. Power factor of one as well. The kilowatt does not have a backlight. The Cyrillac, once you press it, there's a backlight. Using the kilowatt, sometimes I do have to use a flashlight to read the reading on here. When you remove it, the backlight does not come on. Something else that's different with this one is that it shows the low watts and also the high watts. There's no equivalent in the kilowatt. Also, when you plug it in, it has a second reading over here. Once it reaches 60 minutes, instead of seconds, it will display minutes and hours instead. So it's nice that at first it'll show you by the second reading how long it's been plugged in. You can set the cost by just holding it. Set the $10, $1, the 10 cents, the cents up and down and that's it. Both of them are rated up to 15 amps, so you can pump 1800 watts into it. The wattage display on the Cyrillac can go up to 1950 though. Overall, I think the display is a little bit easier to read on this one, but this one has a backlight. If I knew what I know in this video, I probably would just go with the Cyrillic. If you guys are interested in either of these, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.